Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Ty, and I brought somebody special, so please yes. step in. Hello. <laughs> what was popping, guys? It's your boy, DJ Fashion Kill. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, make sure to follow me at DJ Fashion Kill uh, for some exclusive content. Uh, I'll hand the mic back to Ty Ty now. So, I'm bringing my boy DJ today because we're actually doing something kind of special. I don't usually do videos like this, but we're gonna actually review a, a set. Don't be turned away because this is not real Lego. I actually have not seen this set um, in person. We're gonna unbox this and see what it is. Okay, open on this side here. No, you're you're cutting through the box. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the box was inside the box. Okay, he's opening this. Okay, we're good. Ooh, Ooh, sexy. I mean, for fake Lego, that's pretty sexy, not gonna lie. It's like a Lamborghini. Well, let's just say it's a Lamborghini. It looks like your, your car, actually. So for all those haters out there, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I hate third-party Lego, like, third-party Lego honestly sucks. It really doesn't. It really depends on the product you're buying. This is like a Texas-style set. As we can see by this car, the engine is actually in the back, which means it is a mid-engine design, which brings all the weight to the back of the car. But it brings a lot of great uh, benefits to the car. It makes and the so, car more powerful, right? Exactly. Well, it yep. makes it more powerful plus it distributes the weight more evenly to the back which makes it go faster in the long run in track conditions honestly boxes don't really matter so okay. we're just gonna send it okay oh my goodness it's not bad anyway time to unbox this thing okay boys so this is where we're gonna build the set and I'm gonna give you the honors of opening it This set has 1,696 pieces, so this will be a little bit of a project. So this right here is a Technic model of the Lamborghini Huracan LP610. And if you go to Google, this is an actual car. I was right, this is a Lamborghini. But I have to give a huge shout out to Bricks Clubs for providing this specific product here. And I will link their site down below where you can pick up a bunch of other sick rides just like this one. But this car was seriously a vibe to build. There's so many cool features about it, the opening doors to the rear engine. But my main question was, is off-brand Lego worth it? Now there's two important things to consider when buying a set. You have the price and the quality. Lego is pretty expensive. It's not cheap, but at the same time, you're getting a pretty good quality set. Genuine Lego parts have a nice glossy finish to them, and they're also pretty durable. Off-brand Lego is very, very cheap, but from building this Lamborghini, I had practically no problems with the quality of the pieces. Only two parts actually broke on me when building the set, and that was only because I put them under very stressful conditions. I would have to put the quality of off-brand Lego pretty close to the quality of genuine Lego. From my experience of being a Lego builder for many years, I've run into several problems where some of my Lego pieces actually break pretty easily. For example, it's proven that reddish brown, dark red, and even some other colors like dark orange pieces tend to break really easily. And there's even articles online stating that Lego is trying to fix that problem. Lego has its problems as well in terms of quality. And just like off-brand Lego, genuine Lego breaks as well. There's other factors to consider, the building experience. It doesn't matter if a set is genuine Lego or off-brand Lego because both of them share one thing in common and that is that, well, it's a building kit. It's a fun system of interlocking parts and because of that you get about the same amount of enjoyment building either one. From my experience of building this Lamborghini, this was actually the first ever Technic style set I've built and I'll say 
I love it. I think the primary reason why people buy sets is for the theme. Lego can only put out so many types of themes because with themes comes branding and with branding comes a lot of complicated processes like creating contracts and agreements. But with off-brand Lego, you can find so many things that the actual Lego company wouldn't make. Is off-brand Lego really worth it? Well, I would say yes. From my experience of building this Lamborghini, my respect towards off-brand Lego has really increased. If you guys want to have a sick set to display on your shelf to show your friends and family, then off-brand Lego might be the choice for you. In the long run, if you want some good genuine pieces, aim for Lego, but off-brand Lego is always an option for you to check out. If you guys want to see more cool cars like this, click the link down below, and once again, a really super huge shout out to Brick Clubs because they provided this product. Am I gonna buy more off-brand Lego sets like this? Possibly. But anyway, that's the video guys. I hope I answered every question. But if you have any more, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to hear from you. I wanna make more videos like this. This was a really super fun vlog to do with my cousin. Shout out to DJ Fashion Kill. Once again, go check him out. Stay tuned for future content. I'll catch you in the next one. And uh, keep on building.